everyone. So I want to start with a quick question. Uh, by a show of hands, how many people in here have ever been to a staged play or a musical? Okay, so a good number of us. Um, and I want you to think back to the last time you were watching a play or a musical. And I want you to think, I want to know, have you ever wondered what goes on beyond just what you're seeing on the stage? And I'm not just talking about backstage. You know, the typical stage manager, the tech crews, or the orchestras. I also mean the composers, the lyricists, or the book writers, the directors, the choreographers, the producers. What about the designers and all of these other important professions within the commercial theater industry? You see, the, the typical theater goer does not necessarily think about all of these professions, and they're not supposed to. All they're supposed to know is what they're seeing on the stage. But this lack of understanding of how the commercial theater industry really works could also be to blame for a bent perception of theatrical careers. Oftentimes, actors aren't viewed as having real jobs, or they're told that they need a backup plan. In my own experience, as someone who is searching for an education and a career in theater, I've been told that I could be wasting my future, or that I'm just too smart to really be an actor. So I would like to dive deep into theatrical careers and the commercial theater industry as a whole in order to illustrate the fine line between giving good career advice versus promoting false stereotypes. Take, for instance, how a Broadway show comes to be. The goal of live theater is to make money, like most things. It all starts with an idea. So someone decides they have a story to tell, and they want to tell it on the stage. Maybe they come up with a script, um, a lyric, a character, a musical theme, something that's going to start the process of putting their idea to page. The next challenge is finding investors that are going to support this idea. So the creatives usually partner with uh, people called producers who help them garner the necessary financial support in order to keep the idea afloat. By this point in the process, there is usually a draft of the show ready, um, so it moves into something called the workshop stage. And in the workshop stage, the money from investors will go to renting out a rehearsal space, it'll go to paying actors and musicians to learn the show and perform it in a studio environment, often without a script in hand. Um, and the goal, uh, th and this is also out of the public view of a normal audience, so it's just to investors and producers, and the goal of this is to get more money to fund your project. And if you're successful in doing this, the show will move past that stage into something called the out-of-town tryout. If you make it this far, then the show uh, will hire a full cast, a, whole pr a full production crew. You'll hire an orchestra. You'll get costumes, lights, sound, a big Broadway-sized theater in a big city that's not New York. And you'll test run the show in front of an audience. And after seeing how the audiences react, writers can make changes to the show. They can create new material, or they can scrap things that don't work. And they can tweak the show until they get to the desired final product. And if a show makes it this far, then you can tell whether or not it'll make it to Broadway, given that audiences receive it well. If they do, it'll move to a Broadway theater and run in order to recoup its initial investment via ticket sales, as well as maximize profits. Now, something I forgot to mention is that the typical Broadway show nowadays, like Wicked, Hamilton, Waitress, they all cost upwards of $10 million to put on. So as you can see, um, Long story short, the commercial theater industry has the word commercial in it for a reason. The whole goal is to make money. And as we saw, it takes quite a bit of seasoned professionals in order to do so. I mean, ultimately, the commercial theater industry is way bigger than the average person might expect. You also have to think of the careers that go into doing this. So how does someone become an actor or a writer or a producer? The most common type of education for this is something called a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree or rather a BFA. And in a BFA degree, the philosophy is that you're spending all this time in a comprehensive, individualized, conservatory-style program on a university campus. So you're still taking your math and science and general education requirements. So to give you some perspective, the typical bachelor's degree requires 120 credits to graduate, of which maybe 30 to 60 are specifically tuned in to someone's major. With a BFA degree, it's common to see that number exceed maybe 80 to 90 credits for what you are required to take. In my search for a BFA in musical theater, the highest I've come across is 135 credits needed to graduate. And this is because of the level of mastery required to become an actor, a stage manager, a director. 
A BFA in musical theater is practically a triple major between voice, acting, and dance, all on top of your typical liberal arts education. So seen as this is a viable undergraduate education, you are set up in case you want to take grad school classes or if you want to pursue a law degree later on in your life. I mean, you're prepared for a career in your initial field, but you could also join the business side. You could become a producer, you could become a talent manager or a casting director. All of this is to emphasize that in order for such a large, complex industry to operate, it requires a set of really smart, educated, well-rounded, and ambitious individuals to operate. Theater careers are real careers. Theater degrees are real degrees. And theater artists are not uneducated. And I'm not trying to undermine the competitive nature of being an actor or paint any of these careers as safe. Rather, I'm hoping that by providing this information, I'm able to start an educated discussion regarding the commercial theater industry and the careers within it. I'm hoping that by now, maybe I have shed some light on what really happens off of the stage. Thank you all very much, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. <laughs>